Hello, in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to dial in pinpoint accuracy. Now, this is going to be a little bit counterintuitive for a lot of you. Most of you probably, when you get to the tee box, you line up, you aim your club head right down the center of the fairway, you make sure that you got your feet parallel to that target path, and then you swing away, hoping that you hit the center of the fairway. Well, hitting a straight shot is really one of the most difficult shots in golf. In fact, Ben Hogan, he was so against trying to hit it straight that he said, if you're hitting the ball straight, you're doing something wrong. Well, what did he mean about that? Well, when it comes to pinpoint accuracy, we never want to line up dead straight to our target. And I'm going to tell you why. It's a lot simpler to actually move the ball towards your target, either from the right or from the left. So, what you need to do is you need, how, do you need to learn how to hit those shots where you can hit either a fade or a draw. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that today. Going straight at the target, I want you to think of it this, this way. If you're, if you're going straight down the center of the fairway, then your margin of error is only half a fairway. But if we're going to aim down the right hand side or the right edge just inside that right edge with the intent to draw back to the center then our margin of error is the entire width of that fairway likewise if we want to hit a fade and we're going to start it down that left side and we fade it and we fade it too much now our margin of error is still going to be that entire width of the fairway so you think about well what if i pull it what if i push it well, if you don't pull off your, your draw and you're aimed at the right edge and you accidentally hit it straight because if, I'm going to show you how, how to line up for a draw and how to line up for a fade. So you're gonna, if you're not going to draw it, you're going to hit it straight. So if you're lining up on that right edge, worst case scenario, you're going to end up on the right edge of the fairway. Conversely, if you're trying to hit a fade and you're aimed down the left edge of the fairway, and you don't pull off the fade and you hit it dead straight, you're still going to end up on the left edge of the fairway. Again, our margin of error is the entire fairway. Our margin of error on not pulling off a shot is generally not going to be trying to do a draw and all of a sudden send it way right. If we don't pull off the draw, chances are we're just going to hit it straight, and therefore we're not going to be in trouble if we don't pull off the draw. Same thing with a, with a fade. If you don't pull off that, dray, that fade, you're not going to be in huge trouble. So, how do we set up for the draw? How do we set up for the fade? What we do is we take our aim like normal. We look for our intermediate target between the ball, and let's say we want to land this ball in the center of the fairway, but we're going to line up for a draw. What we'll do is we'll line up. We'll have our... our the club face square to that target line square to the center of the fairway but then when we line our feet up what we're going to do is line up no like normal but we're going to move this right foot back just about an inch or so and what that's going to do is that's going to change now to where our foot position if you look is actually pointing right to the target but our face is still square to the target now, where most people get this wrong is when they take the club back, they still try to keep, take it straight back from that target line. We need to make sure we're swinging along our foot path. So that club is actually going to come back to the inside. It's going to come at the ball from the inside with a slightly closed face. That should naturally cause a draw. If you want to hit a fade, we're going to do the opposite. We're still going to take our spot alignment. We're still going to line up our shot to the center of the fairway. But this time, when we line up, again, face right down the target line, right down to the fairway. But now what we're going to do is we're going to take our lead foot, move it back a little bit. And now, if you take a look at my foot line, that's a little exaggeration here for, for effect. My foot line is aimed down the left side of the fairway. And once again, when we take the club back, we're not going to take it back straight from the ball. We're going to take it back along our foot path, just like a normal swing. Just like if you were standing here trying to hit it straight and you're going to take it in relation to your foot line. Now you're going to take it in relation 
to this foot line. So you're kind of ignoring where you're aiming the ball. Because here what's going to happen is because we have an open swing path or an open foot path and open swing path, as we come in, even though this face is square to the target line, it's actually going to be open to our swing path. That will cause a natural fade. It's an automatic shot. Now, how do we do this with our irons? It's really no different. Let me grab a seven iron here. Again, when I'm going into a green, I'm generally not going to aim dead straight for a dead straight shot at the flag. Let's say I have a well-tucked pin on the right side, right behind a bunker. Well, what I'm going to do is I don't want to aim it straight at the hole because what if I come up a little bit short and land, up, land in that bunker? Or what if I push it a little bit and I end up off the right side of the green? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my target, which is the flag. That is my target. I'm going to find my intermediate target between the flag and the ball, which will be a spot right about here. I'm going to set up with my club face square to that target line. But now since I want to start this at the center of the green and fade it back to the right into the flag, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I have a bit of an open stance. Where, whereas my lead foot is back a little bit and trail foot forward a bit. Now, once again, I'm going to swing along the foot path. So if I were to swing around the target path, I'd be taking it like that. But I want to, my shoulders are parallel to my feet and my knees. So I'm going to swing along that path. I'll come from the outside, but because my club face is square to the target line, it's going to hit it with a little bit of an open face. And that should start the ball off to the left and it should gently fade back to the right. Conversely, now let's say we need to draw a shot in. Again, we got a flag on the left side and there's a green in, or there's a, a bunker in front of the flag. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start this at the center of the green and draw it back in. So what we'll do is the same thing. Line up with the face of your club aimed right at the flag or straight at the flag. As we step into it, <clears throat> we drop this right foot back, and now we have a bit of a close stance. And again, we make sure we take it along our shoulder and our foot path. And again, we're going to be coming from inside to out. The face will be a bit closed to the target line. That will cause the ball to start off to the right and draw back into the target. So if you really want to dial in your accuracy, you need to learn how to work the ball. And you don't have to learn some sort of fancy hand work or hand action to try to get that ball to turn over one way or the other. It's simply in your setup, the way that you set up your face to the target line and then set up your feet. Remember, for a draw, you drop your, your back foot back a little bit so you have a closed stance. For a fade, you want an open stance. And again, it's very key that you remember to swing along your shoulder and foot path, not the target line. That's very important to remember that. Another thing very important to remember is do not take your grip before you square it up. The reason I say that is because, okay, here we are setting up for a fade. We want to make sure that club face is square to the target line. Now we place our hands on there. And that what that's going to do is that's going to naturally give us a little bit of an open club face. When we do it with the draw, once again, we don't want to take our grip, take our stance, and then roll our hands over to close that. We want to go ahead and line it up nice and square to the target line. Then we want to take our grip. We want to move to our closed stance here. And then we want to swing along the target or swing along the foot path, knee path, shoulder path, not the target path. So I hope this helps you out. Don't be frustrated by trying to go out there and teach yourself how to hit a perfectly straight shot. Even Ben Hogan didn't like straight shots. He always found it better to work the ball. So did Jack Nicholas. All the great pros out there work the ball either right to left, left to right, or a combination depending on what they need. Hope this helps you out. Thanks a lot.